It may be dance, okay. dance I'm rap. Where, I'm not asking you what category is it. I'm asking you sonically, what kind of song do you think that is? Do you think it's a rap song or do you think it, it's do you think it's an actual rap song? I think it's That's a I think it's a rap song. It's got uh the first the first four bars, which are the only four bars in the whole song, uh, are rap. <laughs> the only four bars. <laughs> It's it's literally yeah. only four bars of rap throughout the whole thing. It's like some I was getting the vibe of um remember the Wu Tang music? That uh, Wu Tang dance? Yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, I remember. I, yeah, I was kind of getting the vibe of that with the drum the drum beat, but yeah, obviously it's a dance song, but like I don't I just don't get it. I think I'm I think I'm finally getting to the point where I don't I don't think I'm going to comment on rap music anymore. Cuz I just don't I don't think it's fair because I don't get it. But well, what's not to get? I don't cuz when I texted it to you cuz I heard it on the radio and and it immediately um I texted it to you and you liked it. You do, you went right to defending it, I, and I was. I love that song. <laughs> okay, you got to then you got to tell me why you like it. I'm gonna play a little right. bit of it first for anybody who hasn't heard it. So so this Twitch, will, I don't have, I don't own the rights to this music. Twitch, don't do it to me. <laughs> Fifteen seconds, Chris. Fifteen seconds. Because I want to go into just immediately hating this song, but I don't. People love it, and I think I'm just not in the. I, I'm out I, of touch. I think I'm you're, out of touch, bro. Not, you're outdated, baby. That's all. I I'll explain. I'll explain. Okay. I'm going to clear you It'll off the screen and play a little, a little bit. Project, project, this ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Ha! Sixty hundred block. I just wanna rap. I just wanna. I just wanna rap. Body out of ya. Shorty got that body out of ya. Like right now, I know there's people probably losing their mind, but I am numb. I feel nothing. Yeah, I think. I don't want to move. The problem is, I think the. I think the problem is. It's it's a, first of all, it's not rap. Let's get that out the way. This is not rap. This is dance music. Like it, when when you said Afro beats was taking over, I was thinking dance music was taking over because everybody was making dance. Drake was making dance. Beyonce was making dance. It, it started to be a thing. Uzi drops this song out of nowhere, and and let me tell you, the first time I heard this song, I didn't even hear it through like Spotify or anything. I was scrolling through Instagram and and kids were dancing to it. So the song immediately became associated with a dance. So from there, when you, bro, let me tell you like this. If you were a DJ and you were hosting a, a, a party for ages, I don't know, 17 through 25, you play this, everybody's rushing to dance floor. No question asked. And they're all yeah, going like, like, no, don't get me wrong. I understand that whole that whole dichotomy like for instance the soldier boy thing i remember i used yes. to dj parties and stuff and that used to be like a go-to like the party's getting dead just hit, throw on fucking soldier boy boom you soon as that fucking hits everybody's losing their mind so it's like i get that though because i understood like even though it's like you know it's it's pretty much a shitty song the soldier boy song but I get it. I understand the structure. I understand what the hook is. I understand where the verses are. I get where... Like, this is just like, I don't understand any of it. It just sounds like a bunch of, like... It's a neurotic m mess of, like, fucking noises to me. It's a cacophony. It's a cacophony, Skrill. This is what I'm really... <laughs> I don't even get what you're saying right now. <laughs> okay. All right. You know why that body out of y'all um, line is funny? Um, why? Megan Thee Stallion is the one who coined the phrase, right? Okay. So it's funny because she made it for, for like ratchet bitches to show off their body. 
Uzi goes and puts it on his song, and people forget that she was the one that said it. She only got the body yada yada. Okay, I, I'm I, telling look, you, bro, I, can, I can get yeah, past. Look, it. it's a listen. It's a vibe, bro. I know it's hard for you to understand when I say that, but it is no one hundred percent. I don't. Vibe. I'm tired of of hip hop fans using catchphrases <laughs> to get out of like actually explaining shit. What is what wow. is the vibe here? Like, I don't get the vibe. Yeah. Like, even the video doesn't. It's like just pieced together. It's a collage Chris, of nonsense. Back in the seventies, if you played. Niggas is rushing the dance floor. You might not like that song. Wait, what's that? Time that I'm along and ride on a fantastic voyage. That should, yeah. that should, you know. Yeah, but it was still a song. Like it was put together. Like, all right, I'll give you a good comparison. It's almost like um, mm. you'd you'd be better off comparing this to like uh James Brown. I got the feeling where he just repeats like I where got the feeling. Like, Baby, yeah, baby, like baby, 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 baby. It's like there's no lyrics to that song. So if you were to tell me, okay, that song is not a great lyrical song, it's not this or that, but it's a vibe, I understand that because it is. <laughs> this, I just like sonically, I don't think it sounds good. I think it just sounds horrible. I'm going to continue it though. Here's the rap part. That's my heart. Damn. One, two, three, four, five, five, five. Damn. MC, make another one. Ah, this ain't what you want. Project, project, this ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Like if, if this is what I would expect if like RJ Mitty <laughs> was a rapper. <laughs> like I would, I, it's, it look, I'm telling you, you keep, you keep saying rap. I'm trying to explain to you. This is not a rap song. This doesn't even, this song doesn't even barely have lyrics, bro. It's just, it's just him saying a couple of, of, of quick low lines and then boom, he's a, what's the word that I'm looking for? Um, that then it's just all about the it's all about the rhythm at that point. You feel me? It's what, not even about what he's saying. What is even the dance to this? Because I didn't really. I only saw that one thing he was doing with his legs, the I'm fucking saying, Bugs Bunny <laughs> runaway dance. <laughs> no, that's hilarious. Um, if you type in uh, you can type in Uzi dance, or if you type in uh, um, because it, it, it originated in Philly, I believe. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I know that I know they get tight about that shit if it's not right. So, um, oh shit, I'm gonna die. Um, but yeah, it, the the entire dance. I mean, look, I'm 32, bro. I'm not about to sit here and fucking dance. But I remember a time when jerking drop, like jerking music drop, and everybody was dancing. I feel like this is one of those waves. It's this just happens to be the song. I get, so what would you classify this then if it's not rap? Um, this it's is, a form of rap, uh, no. It, this is alternative dance. Alternative dance. So you feel comfortable saying you dance. like an alternative dance song? <laughs> yeah, why not? That doesn't that doesn't have any bearing on on where I put my cop. I can like that and still it's, like vagina. It's not that it does. It, it, it starts to. <laughs> it, <laughs> That's where it, it starts to in, It influences over Holy time. Shit. That's hilarious. No, I don't. I, I think it's definitely it's definitely like rap. But it, I, I saw somebody write Peter Ortiz. It's an instrumental with ad libs. And it's basically that. It's like they've cut it down it to ad libs now. That's a good point. It's so, lyric, it's it's uh it's a beat with ad libs. So you don't see this as because because you you see like, let me not put words in your mouth, but are you in the uh like you 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 like more lyrical hip hop? No, rap music. Um, yeah, yeah, of course. So 
If if I had my preference, yes. That is what I'm listening to. So do you only like this song because you've added the rationality of it's not rap? Like, if if it was classified as rap and everybody called it rap, would you have a different feeling towards it? No, I don't think so. I think I'd still enjoy the song. Um, I, I personally wouldn't classify it as rap because I know what rap is to me. I guess we're getting into dicey territory of, okay, well, we, we need to define what a word actually is. But if you listen to... If you listen to the majority of rap music, I, I can fairly say that a, a fair percentage of it does not sound like this. Yeah, but you also can't remove the, the fact that dance has always been a huge part of hip hop. Like, especially at that's the beginning, true. like the, the, the root of that's it. True. So that's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. We have a hip hop artist, a rap artist, doing a song that to me is is genre it is as a as a type of rap song uh i think okay. i think i think you're having a hard time calling it rap because it sort of uh it like you can't then also make the argument that you're a, like you're into lyricism if you call this rap that's what i feel like a lot of people are doing including you no hell no you got to that conclusion. <laughs> there can be multiple facets of different types of music. Look, people call Kid Cudi a rapper. I don't think Kid Cudi's a rapper. He is a musician who raps sometimes on his songs. But mostly, his songs are sonically pleasing. I don't listen to Kid Cudi because I like the words his dis- that's coming out of his depressed fucking mouth. I like the mm. fact that the I like the beats and I like the fucking um I like the the harmonization that he does. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't. I can separate the two. That's all I'm saying. Do you like that his perch mat matches his uh, skirt? Yo, that's hilarious. Oh, no, actually, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fucking of fact, I don't like that. No. Spe- we don't have to talk about this, but speaking of Cuddy, he's. I hear he's. Uh, he quit. He retired. Did he really? Yeah, but it's because he got more right. gigs acting now. So why the fuck not? But yeah, I I think this is definitely rap, and I think it definitely uh it it I I just don't get it. I don't even know where to like to even if if my criticism would even be fair to make. Maybe I'm just that disconnected. Is it is it because you don't get it? You don't want to criticize. I mean, I don't really like that. I feel like there's some other things that that you criticized before that necessarily you don't really get. I mean, you can make the same argument with uh with, with trannies and with and the shit they got going on i mean no that's not fair because no, i understand i understand the difference between men and women <laughs> so that's not yeah. fair okay be careful be careful we're on twitch we're on twitch all right, all right, all right. so <laughs> yeah. um back to the conversation Fuck back to the twitch. conversation is uzi rap or not it, i, I think, think so. classified as a rapper yes i will give you that does he make rap music? I don't think so. So how do you Personally. classify him as a rapper then? Because that's what that's what the system has him as. I didn't classify him as that. The R the 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 R double A C or whatever that musician shit is what classifies Uzi as a rapper. I'm sure if you ask Uzi, he would say, I'm not a rapper, I'm a fucking artist. Yeah, but things have genres. That's the same thing Post Malone will say. Post Malone will go, oh, oh I'm not a rapper, I'm a rock star. No motherfucker, you rap. <laughs> you rap, you crack. Wow, wow, he's a rocker, bro. <laughs> Just because he plays the guitar on his off time, he thinks he's a rock star. <laughs> Hilarious. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's but- it's the same thing. Like it's it's like uh, how you know um, it's it's like a high uh, what do they call it? Delusions of uh, high grandeur, or whatever they call that. Delusions of grandeur. It's like the same reason why Jay Z considers himself b- basically Jesus. You know what I mean? And nobody like questions him. Or it's like, bro, you're you're literally oh, calling yourself Hova. Can you? I don't know if anybody. I don't know if anybody doesn't question him. Can you back um, her down a notch? <laughs> no. I mean, look. If you look, look at it like look at it like this. If you were an atheist and you didn't believe anything. And you made it from where he came from to where he's at now. You probably think you were Jesus too. <sighs> I don't know. 
I don't know. I think it's a thing of like there's there's a thing with with a lot of uh, uh like specifically younger black men that they 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 almost have to like talk themselves up. Well, it's like a pep talk. Like the whole king thing, king and queen thing. Mm-hmm. It's like I it, agree. in reality calling yourself a king is a fucking arrogant thing to do. Especially if you're not a king. Well, not nah, Chris. I mean, because they held us back from our true potential for so long. That's why we kings, brother. It's the idea that if if there was no intervening in Africa, that all black people would be kings. And it's like that's not true. Mm-hmm. Most black people would be serfs. We'd be slaves. Slaves to to other black people. Pretty much. But I think it's that it's that thing. It's like an over kind of correction. I think that's part of the overcorrection. Okay. So Jay, enough. Jay-Z calls himself Hova because he really thinks he's Jesus. My name is Hove. Yeah. H to the O V. <laughs> and then and then just like I always say, like it's to the point where I, I like even though I'd like to criticize this little Uzi Vert thing, I don't think I can. Uh, I just don't even know how to do it. It's that far removed. See, I don't I don't know if I I don't know if I particularly like that. I feel like that's a cop out. Okay. What do you mean you can't criticize it? Because you just say you don't like the song, but but I, it's it for what it is culturally right now. The song is hot. That's all I'm saying. No, all right. I'm gonna go through some of the some of the comments on this song, <laughs> and I want you to tell me if you at all back up any of this, and then we'll move on. Oh Lord! All right, but right, let's see. You have to respect an artist that ha- I'm just reading randomly that has the confidence to say to just say five words on a song and release it as a single with a video genius. So now we're going fuck lyrics lyricism all together. It's now genius to not be lyrical. Do you get what I'm saying? Like hip hop is wait, fucking wait, lost, wait, bro. Wait. I'm not lost. Well, hip hop's lost. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Re- wait, read the beginning of that again. You have to respect an artist. That has right, the stop, confidence. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. You have to respect an artist. You didn't say you have to respect this rapper who just released a song with barely any words on it. I'm telling you, it's not the same. Okay, you that's, can't put this in a rap genre. That's, that's fair. All I'm saying. That's fair. That's fair. Fair argument. All right, let me see what the reply is if anybody calls him a rapper. <laughs> Gucci <laughs> gang. <laughs> First comment is Gucci gang. I'm assuming that's something he says. I don't I don't know, bro. I'm not the biggest Uzi fan. Despite what I'm despite me defending his song. I'm really not. See, I like this but guy. The song? Uh-huh. E- Easton uh Easton D music says trickery, lol. I think that's true. I think it's trickery. Like I'm not even gonna try on this and I'm gonna make a lot of money. Hey, more power to him. Don't get me wrong. I think it's just if we're gonna if we're gonna pretend there's like a prestige then to to lyricism in hip hop, I think that's bullshit. That's all I'm saying. Can we can we at least admit to that? Lyricism doesn't matter. I don't think. Okay, today I don't think there's a prestige. No, of course not. I'd be stupid to say that because there's so many artists that suck lyrically that if they were to come out in the '90s, then they would have been laughed out the record label. You know what I mean? But today it's not about the lyrics, it's about the vibes, and that's why this song is taken off the way it is. And I'll end it on that. All right. All right. We'll move on from it. 